Mount Vernon, they've got to cut that back. They've done a much better job the second half, uh, the second quarter of controlling the basketball, and that's why they got back in the ball game. But again, as we said earlier, if you're putting the ball up nearly twice as many times, you should be in the lead. They that's do attack the offensive glass. That's where all those extra shots came from. Only one turnover for Rainier Beach, and immediately Mount Vernon trying to go long ball. Shea had it batted away, and Thompson, who missed the shot, chases it down, and the follow-up by DeVries. Great rebound by Thompson. He's got a nose for the basketball, and that's a big shot for Troy DeVries, who's really struggled with his outside shot. Nice clean look, and he knocks it down. Ties this game up for the third time. And Again, he, Beach is, is, is just not going to play against the zone. They're going to spread you out and try to make you play man. Kenny Williams to the hole, and it trickles in for his fourth point. Amazing at 5'8 that he can get his shot off in traffic. Very strong. Now, keep in mind, if you don't watch a lot of high school sports, if you're wondering how come Roderick Stewart's allowed to stand out there, we still play under the old, if you're behind or tied, you've got to come out. We're playing the old rules. There's no shot clock. Follow away three, back-to-back -back bombs, and it's Reisman this time. That's how Reisman started the last three ball games. Struggled the first half of this game, but uh, locking in that shot to start the second half, that's important for their backcourt. Mount Vernon's first lead since 2-0. Reisman in traffic. Oh, they're going to call a travel on Williams. What a recovery. He nearly got it, nearly got it back down the floor. Once you get, once you get past the front line, of the Rainier Beach defense, you must be aware of the strip from behind because they will keep coming at you and chase the basketball. Lob and Williams is there again. Shea able to save it. It just isn't a safe spot, and there's Wadrick with the steal. Stewart down the floor, through the traffic, tough left-hand shot. Last off of a green-clad Mount Vernon Bulldog, it'll go to Rainier Beach. Lodrick has missed a lot of finishes on the break, but he is so fun to watch in the open court. So athletic, so creative. Twins on the left side. Roderick trying to get down to the block a little bit. Roderick a little better inside. Lodrick outside. <laughs> Chase back down, Green able to come up with it. Second chance opportunities again for Beach. There's the guy who's been impressive. Shepard couldn't get it. The freeze. Now Mount Vernon can finally take a breath and maybe run what it wants to. Flair there for DeVries and batted right away. Green there. Now they collapse and take it away. Williams, three on one. Quick Stewart. It's Roderick. Whistle before the shot. Offensive foul. Did about all they could do that time and took the charge from Williams. Boy, three on one. A smart basketball play by Shea to step in, draw the charge, and take away this big time dunk again. Beach so good in the passing lane. They disrupt the pass, and they're good with their hands. Strip the basketball. Williams off to the races. Three on one, but Shea, a heady play to step in front of Williams and deny Beach and Roderick's dunk at the end of that break. All the pizzazz goes away. Amaya double team. What a great pass to Shea. Threaded the needle and found Scott. As I mentioned, every time Tyler Amaya touches the ball, something good happens. Either he scores it or he delivers to one of his teammates. He's just been outstanding this tournament. The Golden Bulldog thus far. It's an 8-2 run for Mount Vernon to open this third quarter of play. Beach starting to stand line a little bit on offense. Bobbled by good. Tyrone Shepard as he tried to attack too many defenders. And a mistake by Reisman. He gives it back. Lodrick Stewart! Did he just blow by everybody like they were standing still? Wow, is he fast in the open court. I think they were standing still because <laughs> they knew there wasn't anything they could do. The Stewart twins are breaking out that high-level, high-wire act so far to second half. Williams, little pull-up, can't get the runner. That would have given the Vikings the lead. And they're going to call Tyrone Shepard for the rebounding foul. He says, hey, I was standing still. It was Amaya throwing the bows. Shepard's second foul. That's Again, we're going to see the strip. Reisman loses the basketball on the spin. And the ball kicks out. And there goes Lodrick. And did he fly all the way for the ram down? Thompson, who can hit outside. Reisman. He'll pull up for three. Captain. 
by the Vikings. It'll belong to Mount Vernon. Mac Frazier is up screaming. His guards right now, Bill, are trying to throw three moves and a fancy fall away every time against Rainier Beach's defenders. Well, I talked about their guards handling Rainier Beach's quickness, and they've really struggled with it. Reisman does not always take the best shot. He's very, very athletic, and I think he's finally met his match in this game. He can't really go by these guards. DeVries, straight up, they're fine. It's when they try to get fancy, they get hurt. Troy with his second three in the quarter. He can really shoot the basketball. That's why it had to change. Five for 28. He's just not going to stand very long with a great shooter like Troy DeVries. Gerald Smiley's going to come back in for the Vikings at the next opportunity. Roderick trying to see what pressure's on his back. Couldn't feel anything there. Underneath now, Shepard. Tough ball away. Batted, and it comes down to Shea. Much better job by Mount Vernon on their defensive glass. One shot and out is the key. Reisman. DeVries on the right side this time. He's going to try to go back to back left. That one short. his feet underneath it. Right. Shea batted away for a minute. Now Amaya. DeVries left alone inside the stripe. Can't get it. Tap but not controlled. Shea to Thompson. To Amaya. Didn't go glass. They hit the boards again. And there's a whistle. So many people standing up in front of us. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> well, it's a great uh, effort on the glass by Mount Vernon. Three extra chances. Couldn't get it to go down, but uh, really handing back a little of uh, what Rainier Beach handed in the first half on the offensive glass. Shea is whistled for the personal foul. His third. Take a look at that young man's haircut. We'll tell you about it when we come back. Up and Bill, they're doing some things better in this third quarter of play. Well, a lot of good things happen when they get the ball inside. Now, they've had trouble making the entry pass here. Even though that got in, it got deflected. But when Amaya touches the basketball, always something good happens. A lot of times it's been the score here. He feeds his teammate, Scott Shea. These kids have played together for a long time. They know one another. And I'll tell you what, I've been so impressed with Amaya's play. Not just, I mean, every facet, shot blocking, passing, uh, shooting the basketball. They need to get him more touches. How's this aligned for him so far in the third quarter? Nine points, eight boards, and four assists. All three leading Mount Vernon in those categories. Roderick Stewart got a man in the air, lost the handle, and it goes to Mount Vernon. Roderick's gotten by a lot of people uh, this evening, but he hasn't finished very well. Matt Rainier Beach, one turnover in the first half, five in this quarter. That's They've been sloppy they on the half court. They really have been. Reisman got by his defender. Shea, the little pump fake. A little talking to on the bench from Mac Frazier, and Reisman attacks the defense and makes a great pass. James Delgado in the lineup for Rainier Beach during that break. Batted away. Lodwick Stewart able to chase it down. Beach is getting a little bit tentative on the offensive end. They are not uh, moving as well as they did the first half, and uh, they're going to have to start reversing the ball a little bit better, get more movement in their offense. Whistle and an offensive foul, the illegal screen going against Smiley. First foul against Gerald. Down at the other end as we see the Rainier Beach bench, Mount Vernon is now telling the players on defense, Bill, don't extend, don't extend. They're right. bringing it back in a little As more. we talked about, just keep those guys in front of you. I expect Beach to come out and add some pressure to try to get this uh, game into more of a frenzied pace. Smiley, who's been active in several phases of the game, and he's uh, tried to draw charges. He's uh, been a disruptive force, as it were, for the Vikings. Try to strip Amaya, and he made him pay. The Green's having a great half yeah. uh, offensively, and that was a nice drop step for a guard inside. Eight points in the quarter for Troy DeVries, 10 in the game, and a timeout called by Rainier Beach. It's the players for the Bulldogs reminding one another that they're playing well, but they need to keep them settled down. Let's check in with the huddles. First, Matt Frazier in the Mount Vernon huddle. Don't waste your energy on that. Don't waste your energy. That's a tough move. Nice going.
John Horton is standing by the Rainier Beach bench. John? Well, Rainier Beach basically talks about the fact that they just need to settle down and keep playing their ball game. They say there's not a time to worry right now. The fact is, a lot of time left in the game. Just play your game and things will work out for themselves. Guys? Todd, I think the big play was that three-on-one where uh, Shea stepped in and drew the charge. Took away that dunk. That really changed momentum of the second half. That is a good point, Bill. The foul right there on DeVries is his third. The Bulldogs have lifted their game on offense as well. Green left alone. Couldn't get that three. Lodrick Stewart tapping it. Green the follow. A lot of contact again. Third time batted away. Roderick's follow won't go. Green's doesn't go. And finally, Amaya on the board. Wow, spirited effort just cannot get the ball to go down. The lid on the basket so far this half for Rainier Beach. Nice save by Shea. Rainier Beach still pressuring, but Shea left alone, and that's a three. The swagger is starting to come back for Mount Vernon. They're playing with a lot more confidence, and they're starting to sprint away in this ballgame. It's an 18-4 run right now. Lodrick Stewart trying to counter it and gets it. Bill, that was a great play. He didn't try to get strong to the cup, put it up soft when he was off He's balance. He's gotten to the basket so well this game, he just hasn't been able to get it to fall finally. It drops. Vikings extending their pressure. They can turn this game back around in a hurry, and Mount Vernon knows that. Mount Vernon just needs to take care of the basketball and make solid basketball. Oh, play. what a cut there. Griezmann set it up, and DeVries found him. That's what they do a nice job of, make basketball plays. They back cut so well against pressure, they're starting to do that much better the second half. Now, Beach says spread it out, but Mount Vernon says you can stand out there all you want and run time right now. Modric to the hole. Can't get the roll. Roderick weak side. Batted and then controlled by DeVries. Another great drive. Just could not finish. Roderick's had so many balls with this hung on the rim. Now the drive. Now starting to see a little bit of that frustration perhaps for the Vikings. The backcourt foul. And that one against Modric Stewart. Again, here's a nice delivery. Again, they backcourt, they backdoor so well. Griezmann with the nice cut. DeVries with the delivery. DeVries has been outstanding. Shea taking a seat on the bench. Kyle Kendrick comes back in. Reisman, that lob just a little strong as he overestimated the abilities of Tyler Amaya. And Josh says, uh, yeah, my fault. Josh is a young man with a lot of talent, but I'm sure at some times he's, he raises the level of frustration and creates a lot more gray air for Mac Brady. Smiley just dribbled right into the teeth of the defense, missed that shot, and then fouled him on a rebound. Beach getting a little frustrated, starting to hack at the basketball because their shots aren't falling. Again, Smiley taking it strong in traffic, probably felt like he was fouled, and he probably was but then followed it up by going over the back. Closing seconds now of the quarter. The Bulldogs beat the pressure. Reisman against two. Pulls up. And if the coaching staff would sit down, I'll tell you what happened. It looks like there's a rebounding foul. Maya got the foul there on the rebound. Again, I really think that uh, Mount Vernon has been so successful by getting the ball inside, and Reisman has taken some really difficult shots when they can get a better one at the time. Substitutes coming in here for the uh, Bulldogs. Aaron Ritzwender and uh, John Lee will come in. Good time to give both guards a blow. They're going to see a lot of pressure in the fourth quarter. And both have three fouls, so they don't want to get that. Green did not get that shot off. Vikings were not able to get it down the floor in time. A big third quarter for the Mount Vernon Bulldogs. They scored 23 points in the first half. They got 20 in the third quarter. They lead by 11 with eight minutes left in regulation. In third quarter shooting, Mount Vernon was eight of 14. At